hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i do have this look this deep blue smoky eye look to do for you guys and i'm excited to show you how i went from zero to hero <laughs> in about 15 minutes so if you want to see how i got this look then just keep on watching all right let's get started i'm gonna put on these brows Okay, the brows are on. Next, we're gonna prep our eyes with our concealer, and the concealer that I'm using today is from NARS, and it is in the color Caramel. I'm going to use this MAC 252 brush to prep my eyes. Okay, now that our eyes are prepped, I am going to actually set this concealer with some setting powder and I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. All right, so next I am going in to start my crease colors in the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place palette. I'm actually gonna go in with this shade Nana or Nana and then I'm going to blend in the next shade which will be a black I'm going to use this morphe m433 brush a nice little blending brush and you see what i mean by juvia's place palettes are very pigmented to begin with but this is what i meant when i said if when you're blending the colors in and they won't come out splashy So right now, this isn't taking a whole lot of effort to do actually, which is nice for a change. So you're just gonna blend this up. If you have hooded eyes, you need to blend this past your crease so that you can actually see the color. So I'm gonna blend mine a little bit further up and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, now that we have that color on, next I'm going to actually go into my James Charles palette and use the black from that palette because it is the most black shade that I have. And it is this color right here. It's very pigmented, like super pigmented. So if you really need a pigmented black, this is the one this is going to be the go-to um i'm gonna actually i haven't actually used it on my eye before so i'm gonna give it a go right now but swatching it earlier earlier it looked really nice i'm gonna use this tapered blending brush and give it a try make sure to tap off the excess I'm actually going to go in with the Magic Mini by Juvia's again. And I'm going to use this color. <laughs> I always mess up these names because they are just, you know, not American names. It's, um, Yeti? I'm not sure. It's <laughs> this one right here, this deep blue color. I'm going to swatch it for you. It's very, very beautiful. This is what I'm gonna put on my lid. And I'm going to use a packing brush to do that. I really love this packing brush. It is from MAC and it is the 195 brush. So I'm just gonna go in here. Look how pigmented that is. That is insane pigmentation. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape and use this to cut my crease. So we can get more pigmentation and get the colors to show up better. So the, with this, um, the crease doesn't have to be like super exact like you would with a normal cut crease. This is just so that the color will pick up um, 
when you put it down. Right now that we have that on, we're gonna attempt again this deep blue color. Okay, at this point look how like pigmented that blue is um, I'm actually going to bring this crease color up just a little bit and blend it out because I do have hooded lids so it's kind of getting lost in my hood right now so I'm gonna fix this on both eyes and finish this blue color and then I will be back so now I'm actually gonna go in with the masquerade mini by Juvia's place palette and this palette I'm gonna use this color Dahlia right here it's a very pretty nice blue shade and I'm gonna use a packing brush to put that on my lid let me see so this is what it looks like you see how reflective that is just by itself so let me see mm. okay look how reflective that I'm honestly I'm not even gonna spray it most times when you use a shimmer like that you have to spray it for it to show up on camera but this is just giving the fire straight out of the gate. <laughs> look at that. Like, look at the difference between the two eye colors. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. This turned ex out exactly how I wanted it to bright and beautiful um, i like i like doing bright eye looks if you haven't already noticed but um this one is bright but it's also like very toned down something you could definitely wear out that's still very beautiful And like I said, this cut crease is not going to be perfect because it's actually not a cut crease, but I don't know. What is it like a partial cut crease? Just, I don't know. I'm trying to blur it into the black a little bit up top. That way you can see it, you know, when I open my eyes. Yes, this is coming out perfect. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a liner on top. And pray for me because my liners have not been coming out with the fire lately. It's just not been it. Um, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, so I actually buffed out this um, black a little bit more and I'm liking this a, a lot more. So next, I'm actually gonna go and do my foundation and everything else. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys because you see me do that. If you want it in a separate video, I can do that for you guys. I can do my brows in a separate video. If that's what you would like, just let me know in the comments and I can do that. But for now, I'm just gonna throw it on really quick and come right back. All right guys, so I now have on majority of my makeup. I put my wig on and I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry. Um, This one looks like it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. They are the Dragon Lee. They are the Dragon Lee lashes from Naboonsum and I will leave these linked down below. They're really, really big. So y'all about to see, they're really big. Look how beautiful my eye looks with a lash like what it looks like without a lash so definitely add a lash if you're ever doing a makeup look because they do make a difference all right let's get this second one on and i do like to bend them like this just so they conform better to my eye all right guys so this is the final look and it came out really bomb really snatched it is a great blue smoky eye and i've never actually accomplished a smoky eye that i thought actually looked good so this was an accomplishment for me I will link everything that I use down below in the description box. Um, 
I'm really excited to finally be getting back in the makeup game and I'm happy that you guys are here to kind of watch this with me because my goals for my makeup is to get on that next level. Like I believe it's Taylor Made Jane. Her makeup is flawless. Like I'm talking celebrity quality makeup and that is my goal for myself. I want to get there with my makeup. I want to get there on my hair. And 2020, there was no stopping me, okay? Sis, I have nothing but time. Corona gave me nothing but time to get this hair and this makeup together. So I am so happy I was able to finally get this video out for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this look. I have. I hope it's something that you will actually wear because um, best believe I actually be just walking around my little neighborhood so people can see me because somebody gotta see this makeup, okay? <laughs> um, if you liked this video, if you liked what I had to offer you, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and comment below any looks you want me to do. If it has to do with hair, if it has to do with makeup or fashion, I do have some clothing hauls coming for you guys. Please leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.